I am Timothy Shaw. I'm a counselor at Crawford, more specifically Crawford Champs, the Community Health and Medical Practices School. I am also a school board member for the Lemon Grove School District. I was born in Los Angeles, California, 1961. Um, my mother at that time was a single mother, um, a teenage single mother. My stepfather worked that night, and so he often wasn't there for us. So it took on my mother by herself for the most part, helping us make it through life, you know, um, making sure that our homework is done, getting us to our activities such as football or whatever else my sister may have had, open house and back to school. It's really tough to be supportive when one is a single parent. College was an option that became not an option. I lived in a house with a mean, alcoholic stepfather, and I just wanted out of the house. I knew I had to do something with my life. I knew that I needed a job to support myself. I had been a dishwasher, I threw newspapers, and I knew that that wasn't going to get the job done as far as my own place to stay. So go to college. I got my BA, got my teaching credential, and I was able to start a teaching career, and I moved out of the house. Parents are just so important for the lives of students that I can't emphasize that enough. A lot of parents think, well, my child is off and doing a good job in life, and that's the most critical time that they really need their parents to make sure that they stay on track. They don't know all the information that a parent would have if they're trying to fill out an application for college. They need their parent, someone to take them on a college road trip, show them what college life is like. Parents need to know, what does it take for my child to graduate from high school? What is this A through G requirements? Is my child meeting A through G? And I don't mean just in the senior year. A through G is a four-year process. They must take their proper English classes and their math classes, their science classes. It starts in the ninth grade. I should not, as a counselor, be meeting a parent for the first time in May of their senior year, worrying if my child is going to graduate. I know we work, I know we go to school, but our lives are so busy that there's a disconnect between home and school. School is supposed to be support for the parents. Unfortunately, many parents have given over the primary duty of being a parent to the school. When I first returned to school, my first child was born. Here, here I am trying to get a master's degree, but when I came home, I made sure that I stepped up to the plate. Here at Crawford, we barely have a PTA. If we're not feeding them or they're not some kind of student performance, or their student is not getting an award, they may not come. We have fundraisers. The kids always come to us. They don't go to their parents. Senior awards night, they come to us. That's not a place for us. We're their teachers and counselors. That is a place for parents.